what's going on youtube how y'all doing back with another one this one's gonna be fire so what i'm doing right here i'm just combing out my client's hair you always want to comb out the hair before you cut it so that way you get a nice even cut when you do cut it down so we're going to cut it down with a two with the grain we're going to be using our you know andis masters with our two guard magnetic two guard make sure you do it with the grain long clean strokes make sure you don't go cross grain or against the grain going with the grain means is you're just going down with the grain so with the wave pattern or with the hair pattern uh, against it is going to, obviously against the the pattern of the hair so going with with the grain is going down nice clean strokes make sure it is all even um, follow the hair pattern going cross grain means you're just going across the grain uh, kind of self-explanatory but some people don't know so just make sure you find the the pattern of the way the hair grows and just follow it like that throughout the entire head so we're going to be balding out the neck for the neck taper we're using our stylecraft sabers to make a nice clean straight bald line uh, you want to make sure that you guys go against the grain, especially when you're balding them out. As you can see, probably in the next five seconds that I'm going to be doing, like going down, then going to the left and right, because his hair grows in different directions in the back of his neck. A lot of clients that do have that, you know, that that hair pattern, you just got to go against the grain. Just make sure you do whatever necessary to make it as bald as possible or as clean as possible. We're going to be using our andis masters to make our first guy line we have the lever all the way open i'm using about like an inch to a half an inch about like about an inch guideline i like using inches because it you know to me i like stretching my blends i am cutting out an angle right here because his hair is growing sideways so you got to kind of go against the grain i'm going downwards because hair goes it goes to the left and then it goes down so you got to kind of do what's necessary to make a proper guideline to cut the hair all evenly. Yeah, right here, I'm just touching it up, just make sure that it's all even. I'm gonna eventually come in and close it up just to, you know, take out that ball line. But until this part, we're just cleaning it all up, make sure that's all straight, make sure that everything is all cut, no dark spots or anything. I did make it kind of uneven, but hey, I'm I'm human just like y'all. <laughs> so we close it up using the corners of our blade to take out that bottom line that we use with our sabers. We're closing it up halfway open, you know, just make sure we take out any dark spots. It's tricky when you go, you know, when you cut people that have, you know, different hair patterns in the back of the neck because it's like it's you got to do the extra to make it no, even so again yeah play with your lever close halfway make sure you take out any dark spots and yeah there you go man nice and you know clean right there so we have our now we have our number one in the guard one i was gonna say one and a half we have our number one guard we're making another guideline about half an inch well actually this is about an inch but as you see at the top i'm not kind of making a hard line i'm kind of flicking out when i get to the spot where i want to stop at so that way it's easier to blend to that dark spot make it a little bit you know make it straight um his hair doesn't really grow too much in different directions up up towards the occipital bone but lower down it kind of grows in different directions but for the most part it's it's nice and clean up here but yeah just make sure that it's all straight So we're using number two guard just to take off that bulk that we use that we made with the number one guard we're kind of just flicking out kind of not trying to make another hard line just going up with it going straight up not like kind of using our our touch to kind of lighten it up 
we did use the number two guard you remember to take down the hair so that number two with the grain would would take it you know would make it much lighter his hair is kind of patchy in the back so it was kind of hard for me to to get it all even and everything so yeah number two you know just flicking up everything but yeah I, you guys will get it down this this hair texture is kind of hard in the back in the side it's not that hard but you know in the back it was kind of hard So we're coming in with our number zero guard close and we're just flicking out. We're trying to take out that line that we made with the number one guard. So we're just picking it out using the corners going against the grain because you remember his hair is grown at a certain angle on the right side. So when we get to that right side, we're going against it. So we're angling our blade a certain way. This doesn't really have to be perfect. Just try to take out as much dark spots as you can to make it look necessary. And then eventually when when it's all said and done at the end of the cut we do detail work so yeah it doesn't really have to be perfect just make sure you use your angles make sure you use the corner of the blade uh brush it a lot i wasn't brushing right here i should have but yeah yo know, well, actually i did i brushed brush 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 especially with coarse hair you got to brush the hair down because um when you do come in with the with the guard it just brushes the hair up or moves the hair so with coarse hair you always want to brush like take like four or five strokes brush down four or five strokes brush it again repeat the steps So if you're wondering why I took off my guard, it's because the zero guard wasn't taking out that line. So I have the open lever and I'm just kind of lighting it up. Um, I did make another line up there because of the blade. <laughs> so again, I'm not perfect, you guys. So I just came in with my zero guard and just cleaned it up. So on to the side taper right here. So we're gonna repeat the same steps as we did in the back taper. We are doing the high taper. So we're gonna make the ball line a little bit higher because we're trying to eliminate the C cups because it is a high taper. So again, just repeat the same steps. Just make sure that this ball line is straight, high enough, and uh, try not to go too far behind the ear. using our Andes Masters to make that guideline so we have the lever all the way open. I'm kind of making it, I'm kind of circling out around the ear because I, like I said, I don't want to go too far behind the ear. So we're using the corners of the blade to, to make that round shape by the ear. So now we're just closing it up and just taking out that line that we made with the ball line and the balders. So close it up, play with your levers halfway open, use the corner of your blade. You want to uh, eliminate any dark spots. Um, again, I, it is the same type of know style or same type of technique that we use in the back taper so we're just going to follow the same steps have the open lever to make that first guy line and then to take out the ball line we use the closed lever and then we're going to have our one guard to make the second guy line uh, it's not really doing too much because he just got cut pile about like a week and a half ago two weeks ago so uh most of you guys can't see it is kind of making like a like a hard line up top of there most of you guys see if not um it is a little darker right there but when we get to the top we're just kind of flicking out i'm not trying to really make a hard line so use the corners kind of kind of circle it around the ear so that way it gives that kind of that burst look i like those looks i don't know if you guys like it but you kind of um, like i said yeah when you get to the ear try not to go too far back because to me it's, it's really hard to lighten it up back there and then once you go too high it's just it's it's extremely hard to take out so we come in with our number two guard right here just to lighten up the dark spots that we made with the one 
and we did use a two on top so it's the two is not really going to make it's not going to make another line or it's not going to lighten up too much to that we can't blend so number two guard just to take out those dark spots use the corners of it if you see any you know dark spots like if you've seen like any string of dark spots use the corner of your blade to take it out so we're coming in with our zero guard right now and flick 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 we're just flicking out using the corners of our blade and uh doing whatever is necessary to take out any dark spots if you see any dark spots use the corner of your blade to pick at it and uh yeah just make sure you brush down the hair every you know five ten strokes or like i said four or five strokes this depends on how you like doing it Onto the lineup part, we are going to start from the left side and then work our way to the middle and then repeat the same steps from the right side to the middle. We're using our wall high vis. I do like these liners a lot. They don't hurt. They are sharp, but they don't irritate the skin, which I like. Um, to me, it's always in my head when I have to really focus on trying not to hurt the client's skin because I don't want to because I do pick at the hairline a lot because I want to make sure that it is straight. So. If you guys want this on your arsenal, you know, hit up wall or go on walls, um, Instagram or website and buy these things. Cause I do recommend buying these, uh, liners. They are like one of the best liners that the walls has ever came out with. There's only like two types of liners that are good. It's the babyless liners and these ones. So again, check it out y'all. Onto the enhancements, we're gonna be using a Kiss Express uh, hair dye. We're gonna use black, not jet black or dark brown. You could use dark brown, but I like using the black hair dye, Kiss Express. So how to do the enhancements, you kinda of wanna follow the same as your hairline. You're just tracing it basically. Just make sure that it's not too dark or too light. Um, some people, they, they spray it too dark. Sometimes I do, it just depends on how dark the client's hair is. Um, so just getting like a, 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 a business card or any type of card just to trace it out. And then you want to spray in your enhancements with the, the enhancement gun. So just try not to make it too dark. Just follow the, your initial lineup. And, and honestly, that's really, it's really that simple. It's really not that hard to do enhancements. Some people think it's really hard to do it, but it's, it's really not that hard. Just follow your lineup. Just make sure that the lineup is straight and just follow that. Just trace it. So this video is about wrapped up. I'm just doing the, the straight razor here. Look how crispy it looks. Clean, nice, smooth, everything. Yep. That's how we do, baby. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. I appreciate all you guys for watching, staying tuned, supporting me. I love y'all, man. Um, I'm getting back at my YouTube thing. So to stay tuned, man, big things coming 2024. Hope you like this cut. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I always say, peace and love, baby. Mm -hmm.